The center section of today's square is worked using the corner to corner, the C to C method with um, some extra different types of stitches or blocks in there. So get your supplies and get ready to enjoy this square. We're going to start the square with an increase square. So we will chain six. Then we want to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and in the remaining two chains. So that's row one. We will turn and we'll work another increase square. So that's chain six. Double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook and in the next two chains. And then we'll do a basic square. So the basic square, we will slip stitch into this chain three space, which sort of lays the square that we just finished across the top of our first row square, chain three. Three more double crochet in that chain space. That's row two, and turn. Row three, work an increase square, so we'll chain six, double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook, and in the next two chains. And we're going to make a chain square. So chain square, we just slip stitch into the next chain space and chain six. Then we'll work another basic square. So slip stitch into that next chain three space, chain three, and three more double crochet in that same space. row three. <coughs> row four, we will make sure we turn and do an increased square. So chain six, double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook and the next two And we'll do three times, we'll make a basic square. So slip stitch in this next chain, chain three, three more double crochet. Slip stitch in this chain six space, chain three, and three more double crochet. And one more basic square slip stitch in this last chain three space, chain three, oops, and three double crochet in that same space. So row five starts with an increased square. And then we're going to work a purl square. So we slip stitch into this next space and work our chain three. 
Then we'll double crochet in that same chain three space. We're going to work a puff stitch around that double crochet we just made. So yarn over, insert around that post of the double crochet to pull up a loop. And we want to do that three times. There should be seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and then make another double crochet into that same space. for a purl square. We'll do another chain square. So we slip stitch in this next chain three space, work a chain six, slip stitch into that next chain three space, and work another purl square. So chain three, double crochet in that same space, and puff stitch around that. seven loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all seven, double crochet back in that same chain three space. We'll end the row with one more basic square, so slip stitch in that chain three space, chain three, and three double crochet in that space. Round row six, we'll start with that increase square and then we'll work five basic squares. So starting in this next chain three space with our first of the basic squares. Then you can work four more basic squares for this row. When working the basic square by this purl square, you can see that chain three across the top of the puff. So you slip stitch in there and then finish your basic square. Row seven, we'll start with that increase square again and work a purl square in the next stitch. So remember we slip stitch, chain three, Work a double crochet in that space and a puff stitch around that double crochet. One, two, and three. Pull through all seven. One more double crochet. We'll work a second purl square in the next space. and then work a chain square. Slip stitch in that next space, chain six. Two more purl squares. and end the row with a basic square. Row eight starts with an increase square again, and then we will work five, sorry, we will work seven basic stitches down the row. Row 
09, we start with that increased square again, and we'll work seven purl squares down the side. So my first purl square goes in this next chain three space. one purl square, you'll work six more purl squares. And ending the row with my basic square. One, two, and three double crochet. So row nine has those nine squares across. Row 10, we start with that increased square, and then we will work nine basic squares across the row. Row 11 starts with an increased square again. This is the last row for increasing. We will make three chain squares. So remember to slip stitch in that next chain three space, then chain six. And we'll do that three times. So that's once, twice, and this is the third one. And then we'll make a purl square. So slip stitch into that next space, chain three, work the double crochet and the puff stitch around that double crochet. Pull through all seven loops, one more double crochet in that same chain three space. Work another chain square. Then we'll work another purl square and three more chain squares and end with a basic square. So you can work this next purl and three more chain squares. Row 12 starts with a decreased square. So we chain one and turn. You can turn before your chain one. It's my habit to chain one first and then turn. After we chain one and turn, we'll slip stitch into each of these first three double crochet. And then ready to work our basic squares. We're gonna work 10 basic squares starting in this first chain three space. And we'll work 10 down the row. So 10 basic squares. After our 10th one, we will slip stitch in that final chain three to end row 12. Row 13 starts with that decreased square, so we chain one. After we turn, slip stitch in each of these th first three double crochet. And in the chain three space, we work a basic square. and then we will work seven purl squares across. So you can work those seven now. After the seven purl squares, we will, make, we will make a basic square in this next chain three space. And then slip stitch in this final chain three space. We will chain one and slip stitch in each of those first three double crochet for our decrease square. Round 14. We'll work 
eight basic squares down this side before slip stitching into that last chain three space. So eight basic squares. So I've worked my eight basic squares, ready to slip stitch in that final chain three space to finish row 14. Row 15 then, we start with that chain one, slip stitch in each of those first three double crochet. Then we'll work a basic square in this next chain three space. Then we'll work two purl squares. one purl square, and two purl squares. So we'll make a chain square, so slip stitch in that next chain three and chain six. We'll work two more purl squares. It's one. two purl square and one more basic square. Ending with a slip stitch in this final chain three space. Row 16 starts with that chain one and slip stitch in those first three double crochet for that decrease square. And we'll work six basic squares down this side, or this row. So six basic squares. And slip stitch into that chain three space to end row 16. Row 17, we start with that decrease square, which I've already worked, slip stitching into those three double crochet. Then we'll work a basic square. And a purl square. then a chain square. Then you'll work another purl square and a basic square before slip stitching into that last chain three space. Row 18 starts with a decrease square and then we'll work four basic squares across before slip stitching into that chain three space. Row 19 will work a basic square, a chain square, and a basic square. And then slip stitch into that final chain three. Row 20 starts with a decrease square and we'll work two basic squares before slip stitching into that final chain three. 
Row 21 starts with a decreased square and we'll work one basic square and then slip stitch in that chain three space. Row 22, our final row for this middle section, we work a decreased square. So slip stitch in those three double crochet and end with the slip stitch in the chain three space. We will not turn or fasten off. So I've switched to a contrast color to help you see these border rounds better. To start our first row of the border, we will chain three from where we placed our last slip stitch last round. And then we want to slip stitch in that same space to make a corner chain three space. And then we will chain three. We're going to slip stitch in between our squares. So you can easily see how the double crochet of one square is lying sideways and the other double crochet are going up and down, up and down. So in between those two squares, we'll slip stitch in that space and chain three. We'll do that a total of 10 times. That's two, three. And 10. We'll chain three. We're going to slip stitch into the base of this first double crochet of this corner square. Chain three and slip stitch into that same stitch for another corner space. And then we'll repeat 10 times down this side with the chain three slip stitch between the squares. So 10 times down that second side. And again, we will find the base of this last double crochet to slip stitch in there. Oops, sorry, we need to chain three first. My apologies. Chain three, then slip stitch into the base of that last double crochet. Chain three again, slip stitch in that same stitch. We'll turn and work down the next side, making those 10 repeats of chain three, slip stitch in the next space between the blocks or the squares. So after the 10 times down that side, we'll chain three again and finding the top of this double crochet, slip stitch in there, chain three, slip stitch in the same stitch for our corner space. And one last time, we'll work those 10 repeats of chain three, slip stitch between the squares. And then we'll slip stitch into that first chain three corner space of the round to finish round one of the border. Round two, we will chain three, which counts as a double crochet plus a chain one. And we'll double crochet into that same corner chain three space. We'll work three double crochet in the next chain three space. And we will continue that all the way down the side. So 11 times we will place three double crochet in the chain three spaces. And then in the corner chain three space, we will place a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that corner space. Now continue to work that around all four sides. Omitting the final double crochet, chain one, double crochet, we'll slip stitch into that chain space. 
and I'll meet you there. So I've worked around all four sides to finish up. We will just join with a slip stitch into that first chain space we made at the beginning of the round. Each side then has 35 double crochet with a chain one corner space. Round three starts with that chain three, double crochet in the same space to count as a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We're going to skip this first double crochet and then work in between the next two double crochets. So skip this first one, so between the second and the third. So we won't work into this first stitch, we'll double crochet in between it and the next double crochet. We won't work that second double crochet, but work a purl stitch in the next. So the double crochet, work the puff stitch around, pull through all seven loops, skip the next double crochet, double crochet in between the stitches. We'll repeat that down the side for 11 of these purl stitches and I'll meet you at that point. So the double crochet in between will be always between these groups of three double crochet and the purl stitch will always be made into the middle of those group of three double crochet. So when you've worked those 11 purl stitches down the side, we will double crochet in after that last group of three double crochet, and then in the corner chain space, we'll make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and work that around all three sides. The final side after that last double crochet, we will join with a slip stitch to our beginning or in that beginning chain space to end the round. 11 purl stitches, 14 double crochet, and one chain one space. Round four, we will chain two to start, which counts as a half double crochet. And in that same corner space, we'll place a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and a half double crochet, all in that same corner space. Working down the side, we will half double crochet in this first double crochet, half double crochet in the next, and we'll half double crochet into the double crochet part of the purl stitch. And then half double crochet in the puff part of the purl stitch. We'll do that 11 times. Half double crochet in the next double crochet, half double crochet into the double crochet of the purl stitch and into the puff part of the purl stitch. So you can repeat that down the side and I'll join you just before the next corner. So after we've worked those half double crochet on that last bead stitch, we will half double crochet in each of those last two double crochet of the side, and then ready to work our corner of half double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, half double crochet in that same space, then ready to work down the side, being careful to grab that first double crochet that's a little bit hidden, half double crochet in it, and the next, and those two half double crochet, one each worked on each part of the purl stitch. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end of this round. We will join with the slip stitch to the top of our starting chain two to end this round. 38 half double crochet, two double crochet, and one chain in the corner on each side. Round five, our final round for this square. We will chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We will single crochet in that same stitch and in the double crochet. 
In the corner space, we will place a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. We'll skip this very first stitch, so that double crochet, and then we'll single crochet in each stitch down the side. Until we get to the next corner, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and so on, remembering to skip that first stitch of each side. So you can work your way around and join to our starting stitch, our starting single crochet to end this round.